Bonjour. 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 First of all, I have a job that I love, and I love waking up and working and making progress. Normally, during breaks like this, I get really antsy. I find myself not able to sit still. I find my energy cycles going way down and taking a lot of naps to compensate, and I get all out of whack. Monday is the big work day. Really hoping I can continue to find time to, to make these because I have a lot of fun doing them, but also only wanting to do it if I believe it's making my, all the other parts of my life more productive. Yesterday I talked about my resolutions for this year. The first book that I'm going to be reading is one that I've already read and it's called The Lean Startup by Eric Ries. Even though I read this book, I'm rereading it now because it has a lot to do with process and how to approach new projects, and that's something that I'm really interested in, whether it's in my work or it's in my personal life, like these vlogs, really trying to better understand that system. Also, being able to create something, getting feedback on it, and improve upon it. One of the things I'm really excited about doing is I have an opportunity to work from home a lot of times. And so, trying to use these vlogs as an excuse to go find really cool places to, to spend the day working. Last night I read this article called The Secret of Happiness is 10 Specific Behaviors. Let me see here if you can see that. In the article, I found this quote that really speaks to something I've been thinking a lot about lately. And it says, be everything to everybody and you'll be nothing for yourself by John Rushton. That is exactly the essence of why these vlogs are important to me. I found myself in 2015 working on a lot of cool things, but spending probably too much time thinking about how others will perceive them. That's completely separate from the whole how we treat others in our lives. Different from caring and loving and all the things that we should do and the things that I'm working on doing even more in my life, I, something I think about a lot. What I'm talking about is something very specific. Working on a project with the hopes or doing something with the hopes that it'll be perceived well by others. This, I think, is toxic. Why? Because in everything that we do, it adds additional filters or additional complexity to whatever it is. And I think the end result of the work is more of a reflection of this weird mess of fear rather than the pure creation of what you had originally tried to do. Trying to decide if I should go for a run. I'm sick, but not very sick. According to the internet, which you can always believe, is you shouldn't run if you're more than minorly sick. I think I'm on the border of that. But first, nap time. I decided that if I dress warm, I will not get sick anymore. So the solution to running while sick Dress warm, run slow. Five point two five miles. Don't run while sick. I'm not that sick. I just shouldn't have been running. 
So I'm reminded of this article about Frank Sinatra, where I think it's titled Frank Sinatra Has a Cold, and it talks about just how dramatic he was anytime he was sick. I definitely am not sick, but I have a cold and probably shouldn't run. And the reason why I wanted to run is I'm doing this challenge with a buddy and I'm at 186 miles so far, but I should be at 191 miles. So I need to catch up tomorrow, off day 100%. And if I'm feeling better the following day, I'll run uh, a short distance, maybe four or five miles in the afternoon. And then hopefully by then I'll be feeling better. I'll be back at work and all will be right in the world. <laughs> 